In my mind, apprenticeships were for builders, plumbers and electricians. I never realised that you could get a degree and not have to pay for it. I'm Lucy and I'm a software engineer. So, the majority of my job is coding, which is where you write instructions that tell the computer what to do. So I work for a company that specialises in metrology, which is the science of measurement. We are able to measure down to less than one micron, which is a thousandth of a millimetre, so we can be very precise indeed. Our neurological department design and build robots that help doctors in operating theatres. In this case, accuracy really is a matter of life and death. I've always loved technology and gaming. I actually had my own personal computer when I was just four. My dad and my granddad were both absolutely obsessed with tech, so it's always been something that's been around me as I've been growing up. I didn't really consider it as a career through school uh, until I went to a sixth form taste today. I'd booked all my slots for this taste today except one, and a lot of my friends were going to a computer science session and I thought, hey, I like computers, I've got a free slot, why not go along? And the teacher basically showed us this video of the sort of things that you can do if you go into computer science. And it was just that very stereotypical moment of seeing all of these computers doing really cool things and thinking, how do I get into something like that? How can I be a part of this? I was really split when I took my A-levels, which is why I took computer science, maths, English and photography. I'd always wanted to be an English teacher forever and ever, and then computer science kind of came up and I thought that's actually really interesting, so I set myself up to be able to do either. During my A-levels, my dad said to me, have you ever considered doing an apprenticeship? And at that point, I'd only really thought of them in quite a stereotypical way, like they were just for construction. And he said, no, this one will send you off to university and you can get a degree in software engineering. And I thought that was too good to be true. With the apprenticeship, I was going to get four years of experience and a degree. I wouldn't have to pay for it, I'd get a salary, and I was pretty much guaranteed a job at the end. It felt like a no-brainer. I may have stayed close to home, but I got to do plenty of social things in a place where I felt secure. I struggled with anxiety during sixth form, so I don't think moving away would have been right for me anyway. I got a call at work one day saying, do you want to be part of a secret project, but you can't tell anyone what it is? So I was like, yeah, count me in. Uh, it turned out to be creating Grommetronic, uh, so a robot dog for the Gromit Unleashed 2 trail in Bristol. I really never thought that I'd be making a robot dog as part of my job. I was the only apprentice on the team and I was in charge of making his eyes move. I actually used a lot of GCSE maths on that project. It was basically all maths, making the eyes move in a straight line or a nice circle, things like that. When I was at school, I always thought, when will I ever use this maths? but the geometry that I learnt has always come in really handy. I use the equations of a circle, Pythagoras, and the properties of shapes so much. There are other skills that you learn from maths that are really transferable. So in software engineering, you might write a piece of code that technically works, but it's not the best or fastest way of doing it. So, just like at rearranging an equation or simplifying an expression, you can swap around the way your code works to make it more efficient. I would say, don't be afraid to talk about skills that you have that you don't necessarily think apply to the thing you want to study. For me, that was photography. It meant that I had an eye for design in software that others didn't necessarily have. As much as you do need some subjects, like maths for engineering, Having others that interest you that you're passionate about on the side can be really useful. You're allowed to like different things that don't stereotypically match up. You don't have to fit the mould. Why don't you break the mould? <laughs>